Private Property recently concluded an exciting deal that saw South Africa's leading property portal undergo a change in ownership, partnering up with none other than Caxton CTP publishers and printers. Joining me in studio today to chat more about this exciting transition is Peter Uesthuizen from Private Property and Nicole Forster from Caxton Digital. Welcome. Thanks so much for having you with us. Exciting yeah, to be here. Thank you. Yeah, and congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So tell us a bit about Caxton and its history, Nicole. Uh, Caxton is one of South Africa's largest um, publishers and printers of magazines, books, newspapers and even websites. Um, we've been around for many, many years, um, almost as old as me actually. And um, yes, we um, basically are a JC listed company, so yeah. I'd like to think that we're, we're quite, a, quite a big big fish. Yeah. <laughs> you host quite a variety of publications under your umbrella. Tell us about some of them. So from the local media side, we have approximately 140 local newspapers that get put into um, the community's boxes, every post boxes every every week. Um, they look forward to receiving those, obviously get very upset if they don't receive them, give us a phone call. Um, we also have a footprint of 3.7 million copies that go out weekly, so quite a nice you know, um, area that we cover. And we also have national publications such as our magazine department. Um, you might be familiar with the Roy Rosa magazine, Bona, Farmers Weekly, Garden and Home, just to name a few. Yeah. Um, and then we've also got our national publication, which is The Citizen. So Peter, we've got a long-standing relationship with private property from Winner Home and also recently discussing your new app, which has been met with great excitement. So tell us what this means for private property. Yeah, thanks for having us and uh, uh, especially around the app, we've had great results, so thanks to you guys. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the Caxton partnership, you know, from day one, the, the team have been really uh, committed to our success. And as a business, we want to grow um, our brand, you know, and our core offering. Uh, for us, this is almost a marriage of traditional and, and digital. Uh, and though digital will always be our core, we understand that there are markets we still haven't reached and some guys who still start their uh, property search offline. And mm. yeah, we think this is a great way to drive our message and our property experience uh, through those channels. Yeah. Now we've heard from private property side, but what does this merger mean for Caxton? So for Caxton, we're still very relevant, especially like I was saying earlier about the local community. So we pride ourselves in um, being well supported. The papers still, you know, get a lot of readership and are still really relevant in the communities. Um, more recently, we've invested quite heavily in the digital space. Um, we expanded by um, launching 82 local newspaper websites um, around the brands that we already have. Um, we reach over 5.5 million visitors through these websites per month. Um, and, you know, through our associated um, companies and partners, um, the likes of The Citizen, MoneyWeb, we really want to be able to grow the private property brand as much as we can um, through this network. Yeah. We feel that through us having that local expertise and private property having the property expertise, we can really then um, you know, showcase this, not through just the traditional um, media, but through various digital touch points as well. So a leading online property portal joins forces with a media giant. What does this mean for myself as an individual when I access your website? As a national website, we have a great um, national footprint. Um, the Caxton's partnership really allows us to reach further and especially into these local communities, just putting more properties in front of more buyers more often. Yeah. Yeah, and I think from, from our side, you know, we're really entrenched in the communities. We're very involved in their daily lives. Um, we pride ourselves with having the journalists out there getting the latest news all the time. And I think that from, you know, my experience as well, when you are um, searching for property and investing in either buying or renting, you really need to have some sort of expertise, um, you know, in front of you. Mm. So, you know, by combining both companies, we feel that we can really get in front of their consumer um, and leverage off what we have from a traditional side, but yeah. then also from an online side yeah. um, and really, um, you know, give, give that, that information freely to them, yeah. um, meeting all their needs from local news to property listings. Um, so, yeah, in this case with the property side, we believe that the partnership can really achieve this. This definitely offers the consumer a more holistic experience. What does this mean for the real estate industry? For us, we really want to add value to our estate agent partners, uh, but that also starts with a great consumer experience. 
I think for us we want to leverage the print and digital assets and uh, yeah, showcase our great property content um, so that uh, the real estate agents and the uh, consumers will ultimately benefit. Absolutely. Well, it's very exciting and I'm sure we'll be hearing about it from you soon again. Thanks so cool. much. Thanks. So for more information, please go to www.privateproperty.co.za.